In honor of Asian American and Pacific Islander Heritage Month, Tara Newbaum is live from her kitchen this morning showing us a couple of healthified recipes with a little bit of an Asian flair. This is probably one of my favorite cuisines, Tara. It is mine as well, Leslie. I think I had some sort of Asian food every single day this week, but I'm excited for this morning, excited to share some really yummy but also healthy recipes with you guys. We're starting off with a peanut sauce because we're gonna make some spring rolls with a peanut sauce here. A little bit later on, we'll, we'll make the spring rolls. They're gonna be fresh. They're gonna be perfect for these hot, hot temperatures that we're talking about. I can't even believe it. Um, but let's start with the peanut sauce. I could eat this on pretty much everything. So what you're gonna do is you're obviously gonna need some peanut butter. So we're gonna take about a fourth cup of some peanut butter and you're gonna wanna put that into, I'm just using a clear jar this morning so you guys can kind of see what I'm doing. And since some of that's stuck in there, we're gonna add a little bit more from, straight from the jar as if we couldn't all just eat a spoon full of peanut butter by itself. And then you're gonna take one and a half tablespoons of some sesame oil. We have about a half teaspoon of some minced garlic, uh, ginger. And then we are going to mince some garlic as well. This is just one clove of garlic for a nice little pop. And then we have three tablespoons of some soy sauce. Now I'm using a gluten-free soy sauce, but of course you guys can use whatever soy sauce you love. You can also use coconut aminos. I've used those a lot in my recipes. It's a healthy alternative to soy sauce. It's just a coconut nectar as the base of that. And you might need a little bit more. Coconut uh, aminos are a lot less salty, um, but about two to three tablespoons of regular soy sauce. We have one tablespoon of some rice vinegar. And then really to just thicken things up, I like to add about two to four tablespoons of some hot water to this. I mean, to, to thin out the uh, sauce here. So we'll do, we'll start with about three tablespoons of that. And then you're going to shake it up. Now, like I said, I'm gonna be making some spring rolls in the next hour of Good Day Austin. So this is a perfect little sauce to dip those in. And this is actually very runny compared to the one I made the other day, it really depends on the type of peanut butter that you're gonna use, so I may throw a little bit more in there just to thicken this up. So uh, probably didn't need that much water, but you can just kind of, um, oh yeah, that'll thicken up a little bit. You guys can see that in there. We'll dip in some fresh spring rolls. These are also great on lettuce wraps. You could use them on top of just some, some plain noodles for a peanut sauce on that. But we have a fun morning planned and then uh, in the nine o'clock hour of Good Day Austin, we're gonna make a leftovers fried rice. So putting any leftovers that you might have in the fridge, especially those Asian leftovers, Chinese leftovers, um, how to kind of stretch those out a little bit. So I'll be posting all of these recipes on my Instagram, Tiara, on Fox 7 throughout the morning. And uh, Leslie will check back in with some fresh spring rolls to dip in our peanut butter sauce here in just a little bit. Yeah, all right, sounds good, Tiara. I feel like you've been in my kitchen because I too have had something every day this <laughs> week that's got the Asian flair. And I love that you found that gluten-free so soy good. sauce. I just found it a couple weeks ago, same. I used to use coconut aminos, now I'm using tamari. It's really good. It, it is good too. It's, it's a lot saltier than the coconut amino. So, yeah. so I would say different flavor palettes for both of those, but love them both. Great options, great healthy alternatives. Yeah, woo. I can't wait for your spring rolls, clearly. <laughs> All right, thanks, Tiara. <laughs>